do what you would want your spouse to do if they were out um, when you're not with them. Basically, that's it. So if you're out there being funny, doing weird stuff with other people, what do you think your partner gonna be doing? Hey, saw so much drip when I walk through. I got a dip when I'm on too long. She broke my heart, but it make cool songs. I ain't caught a flight, I've been gone too long. True religion on me, love and love my soul. Hit my dog for the roof, put me down too low. What it do, y'all? Hey, y'all, welcome back to DMB TV. Today we're about to be doing a what boo boo. We're about, about to be, to be giving advice on long distance relationships. Another advice, man. Y'all been talking to us down in the comments saying, man, make another advice, man. We've been we've been uh getting a lot of comments on it. So this video we're gonna be doing couples advice. Long, long distance. distance. Long distance relationships. Yes. And we only know this because we've been in one for four years, the beginning of high school. So if any of y'all new to the channel, yeah, we've been together for six years. Six years and a couple months total. But uh, it's been four years through high school, long distance. Mm -hmm. So this is our what second year being together. Yeah. So yeah. yeah, we started freshman year. So now we're what in college, sophomores in college. She's I'm 21. She's 19, about to be 20. So we're not old. We literally just made it. So you yeah. Hear a story about that? We'll link it down. Yeah. We'll go check out how we met. I've been a person, all that. Extra. We already got those videos made for y'all, so if y'all haven't watched it yet, stop watching this. Go watch our very first yes. one, watch part two, and then go ahead and tune into the advice video, which is this one. So, without further ado, let's go ahead and get into the video. Save so, number one on advice: the long distance relationship. I say the most important one would be communication, because all y'all do is have time to talk. There's two types of communications. Uh, communication dealing with long distance. Number one would be uh, obviously taking time out your day, changing your schedule to communicate with a, a, the loved one over the phone or, you know, social media. We would have media. specific nights, like where we would FaceTime each other all night or right. like sit there and text each other, you know, and we update each other like, oh, okay, I'm about to be doing that, yeah. I'm about to be doing this. So, so we like planned our day or a week. We never, we never went that far because she could never keep up with the weeks. So we would go from day to day or every two days, like plan out when was when would be a perfect time to FaceTime or or uh, Snapchat. Y'all, if y'all are young and y'all are too scared to you know, you know FaceTime somebody, then y'all can always start off with uh, Snapchat or just sending pictures to each other, appropriate pictures. But. <laughs> Appropriate, because I know y'all little kids nowadays be nasty. But yeah, so Snapchat, Instagram, whatever. Mm -hmm. uh, y'all can always start off that way. If y'all are older, it might be a little bit different. So let's say y'all went from being physically together in a relationship, and then let's say the other one had to move away. Let's say y'all in high school, y'all had to move away, and y'all still wanted to continue dating and all that stuff. Y'all would have to learn how to manage your time with that person. Uh, communicate better with that person. Obviously, y'all gotta keep up with that person and talk to them 24 seven. A long distance is not a, a four days on, three days off no. type of thing. It's just like an everyday type of thing. As long as yeah. you put in the work and like the effort for it, it'll show. Now the second communication that we're talking about is obviously talking through you guys' problems. Cause yes. it's gonna be problems. There's gonna be a lot of uncomfortableness and uh, uh, situations and stuff like that, you need to communicate with her or him. Uh, let them know, mm -hmm. like, yeah, you can't be doing. I don't want you doing that. You my girlfriend. Which one? I want you to be safe too. I don't trust people, so it's like y'all gotta have like that life balance of what you guys are comfortable and uncomfortable with. Let's say yeah. you do. Let's say the other person do something that you're uncomfortable with. You don't just sit there and not text them the whole day for like two days because you're mad at them. They're gonna be like. Why aren't, they, why aren't they texting me? Are they not interested or something like that? You gotta communicate with them and let them know yeah. what's going on. Cause Just like any typical relationship. Yeah, but yeah, but. Cause well, you're, not, you're not physically with them, so it's gonna be really easy yeah. just to not talk to them and right. just go on your regular life. So you really gotta make sure you're on that right. or else. So I say do all these things if you are really into a long distance relationship. Well, you're also gonna be able, you're also gonna have to open up like True. on the phone because we met through through like texting so we had to like also open up through texting number two all right 
No, that's number three, because we already did number two with well, the trust. Mm -hmm. I mean, the okay. community. Right. So number three. Is setting ground rules for the relationship if you just met. Or even if you already knew the person, you still kind of need like, like rules on like what's okay, what's not okay, okay. what's allowed, what's not allowed. Obviously, everyone that is old enough to actually know what a relationship is, cheating is obviously the number one rule not to do. Like, yeah. duh, like that. Uh, all Just types like of stuff. if the person doesn't want you going out super late, then don't do it. Don't be out here sneaking out and doing all this you stuff. Know. Like, just basic I mean, this like also goes for regular relationships yeah. too, but just like treat the long distance relationship serious and set those rules with the person. But if you're in high school, I don't, I look, he remember, but don't remember how high school is or like how we were. A high school standpoint though, uh, let's say you guys go to school every, every single day, like us, I went to different school, she went to a different school, like three and a half, four hours away. Therefore, there was a lot of things that you had to make sure that, well, one, don't keep the one that you are dating, no matter if it's long distance, short distance, whatever. Don't try to hide that person, first of all, because it's just gonna make it seem like you don't want nobody to know about her, just because they're, yes. trust me, I, I, all my friends know I, uh, all through high school, I was in a long distance relationship. They would clown me, but jokingly in a way, but secretly, not secretly, but on the reality, no. they respected me because one, I had a girlfriend. I was in the, long, the longest relationship out of all my friends. Mm -hmm. But even though they clown me sometimes in a jokingly way, it was never a bad thing. Mm -hmm. So don't be embarrassed about being in a long distance relationship. No. I actually would recommend it to a lot of people, uh, at least young people that, that's trying to find the right person or whatever. Because you- are serious. So I'm saying like, we, since all we did was talk, like, that's all we had was just communication that, like, we got to know each other so well, super, super well before we even met in person. Like, you got to be able to hold a conversation, but it's just because we, like, were so alike and we mm -hmm. just, like, loved each other. And, like, but me discovering you, like, your ways and, like, what you did and what you like, I was just, like, so fascinated. I was just like, me too. Bro, what? <laughs> she like that? That's weird. The only thing she doesn't like is cars and uh, stuff. No, like. I do like she, cars, just I'm not like a fanatic. She's not a car fanatic like me, but that's my main passion, so that would have sold it if you was into cars like that. Do what you would want your spouse to do if they were out um, when you're not with them, basically, that's it. So if you're out there being funny, doing weird stuff with other people, what do you think your partner will be doing? Okay. Weird stuff. Okay. I say if you're gonna risk it, be all in it. Don't, 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 don't half ass it. That's what I'm saying. Cause it's not gonna work. Oh yeah, long distance relationships. If you're not serious about the relationship, just quit it now. Like if you're not really trying to be with the person for too long, mm -hmm. then just stop it. But right? sprinkle a little bit of gray house in there. Sprinkle some greyhounds in there a little bit. Back when we was real young, we couldn't drive. Our parents didn't want to take this. Uh, Yo, know, I used to take greyhounds, and she took a greyhound like twice or once. If y'all don't know what a greyhound is, look it up. You don't want to do it. But don't want to do it. We had to. You're gonna be in. Imagine me being 15, 16, 14, riding with random strangers. I'm in high school, freshman, sophomore, riding with the world. Like, bro, I could have got kidnapped shot rob anything like crazy and not just random people that's what i was like i would never do that again that was too risky but luckily i'm all right you know man upstairs man. bless me shut up d it's like no you were the same size as you were when you were 15. Skinny. i was just no, oh, no i was like six, six foot i was like six months yeah exactly six i was young bro i felt like a little dude i was probably tall but i was i felt like a kid inside, so it was probably thinking like this big grown baby <laughs> kid over here acting like a little punk. It's like I was never a punk. I don't tell you oh that right now. Yeah. No, I'm just playing. Another big point is um, if you guys haven't already to discuss your career path. If you are thinking about that, if you're old enough to think about that. 
because if you're trying to make this a long-term relationship then you're gonna need to make sure your stuff aligns and like you know but wanna, if y'all gonna grow together and like like build businesses and companies whatever or are y'all into different things and y'all gonna wind up breaking up so it's like also make sure you like because our plans change yeah our, she wanted to be a surgeon i wanted to be uh go in the air force and do this probably be an engineer or something yeah but it changed and i wanted to be a cop and then she wanted and I to could be, do what i wanted to do she wanted to be a ui designer and then i changed that now i want to be a youtuber so it's like me too adjust yeah well yeah her too so, so we found a plan. We found something together. For both that, of us. It works work. for both of us. While she's still in school. Yeah. Mm. Mm. So, so yeah, that wound up working out perfectly because my my dream has been to entertain people and always make people laugh. So I feel like this is perfect. Is we, I feel like we were a little mature for our age because we were talking about where we wanted to live. All, because we were literally getting to know each other, like we were serious. To the, we were like, taking to, our relationships super serious. To the to the what is it? To the DNA inside my finger. All right, y'all. I hope y'all like this video. If y'all new to the channel, um, check out our other videos. We're linking them down there. All of, about how we met, our story, all that extra stuff. Like, comment, subscribe. You already know the drill. And if y'all haven't yet, man, make sure y'all turn on that post notification bell. All right. All right. In case we was. Yeah. All right, man. Peace, y'all. Peace, peace. Peace.